Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is my review for Borok Empire Season 5, Episode 2, The Good Listener. And I really like this episode. I thought this episode was better than the first one. I was really into it more. It was just more interesting, in my opinion. Now, here's the thing in the first episode. It was still interesting, but... I just thought this episode was 10 times better, in my opinion, definitely. First episode, there were some things I did not like. First of all, keeping Nucky in Cuba was not a good idea. I would have wanted him to keep him in New York, and I was glad in this episode he returned to New York. Now, we're going to get to that, but let's just get this episode, because overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a better episode. A lot of big things happened this episode, definitely, and um, I am definitely looking forward to the next episode, especially because of the end of this episode. Definitely, things are starting to go down. So, just like the first episode, we're all, and by the way, I'm not going plot by plot here because everything really, um, the way this episode worked is that everything's really going to connect. I will talk about the flashback separately, but let's talk about everything else that happened first. So, we see Eli, and he is in a very bad state because if you remember, Eli at the end of season four, the federal agents are after him. You know, they're after him and everything, and Nucky, they asked Nucky to go after him, but he said no. He told his brother, you know, to stay where he is. And, um, basically, he wakes up in Chicago at the top of the warehouse, and it was cool to see Eli again, you know, after what's happened to him. I thought it was cool to see that he's in a very bad state, really. He's in a terrible state, if you think about it. Um, he is looking terrible. He wakes up in a Chicago, um, in a Chicago, um, he wakes up in Chicago at the top of the warehouse, and he watches federal agents going through all the alcohol and arresting people. He turns around, and he walks away. It's because he knows they are, they're after him, and he's like, oh shit, I gotta get out of here. So I thought that was a good way to start the episode. It kind of uh, caught up with him a little bit. So then we see Johnny Torrio, and he's having tea with Nucky in New York. Now again, again, so, now again, I'm so happy they brought him back to New York, because seriously, we don't need to see him in Cuba. I understand why he was in Cuba, but... It just was not interesting to me when he was in Cuba. It wasn't interesting. The only complaint, by the way, guys, with this episode is there was no Chalky and there was no Margaret. That storyline was not in there. But we did get some um, other, you know, storylines brought back. So Johnny tells Nucky that he, his nose show is moving on him, and he implies that it is Al Capone. And he then lets Nucky know that uh, John Mazuri is dead, and Nucky wants to know if Johnny knows who tried to basically try to kill him. And... Nucky does not think it's a coincidence that Joe was killed and he had an attempt on his life. You know, they someone, you know, possibly a suicide, that's what they're thinking. And Nucky suspects that Meyer Lansky is the one that did it. So Johnny says, oh no, you're crazy. Don't don't even worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it at all. And Nucky, Nucky wants to, you know, um, he's determined to find out what's going on here. So then we see Willie, and he's going, again, I'm talking about the flashback separately. We saw a flashback after this, but I'm talking about that separately. Now, Willie is going for an interview with Robert Hodge. Now, if you remember Willie, last season, he was joining, he was planning on joining Eli, you know, in the gangster business, but Nucky said, no, don't do that. I want you to get a good education. I want you to become a good person. So he told him to get an education and basically just get a good college education. That's what he told him to do. So that's what Willie is basically doing. He is now applying for a job as an attorney, and the the interviewer, you know, seems to be going well. The interview is going pretty well until the interview asks him if he's related to Nucky. Now, Nucky is his uncle, and Willie's not really happy that Nucky is his uncle. He says, you don't get to choose your relatives, and Robert dismisses him, and he tells Willie he gets to choose his employees, and um, Willie begs Robert to give him a chance. You know, he really wants to, you know, make this successful, and it seems like it's going to be successful with him. I hope Willie is successful, because I like his character. I think he's a good character. He's a good guy. He's not bad or anything. His hair's a little bit different as well. You know, I like seeing um, that... One of the things I do like about this season is you have seen some of the characters' hairstyles change and things like that. I thought that was cool to see, definitely. So then we see Al Capone. He's having a great life. He's just having a great time. And Mike comes in to speak to Al, and he tells him that the feds came in and took just shy of $20,000. And it seems um, Van Alden, you know, they, they know him as George Mueller, but he's really Van Alden. They're wondering if he's supposed to pay off the feds, but the fed guy says he never saw Van Alden, and Al Capone tells him that um, Van Alden better get his money. Now, D'Angelo is blaming him for the money loss and tells him he has 24 hours to get the money. So D'Angelo leaves, and Van Alden turns around to Eli and tells him it is his fault, and Eli promises he will get the money back, and um, Van Alden tells Eli he reeks of urine. You know, he needs to get that money right now. Um, 
So then we see um, Jill Jillian, and I was surprised we saw Jillian. I thought the way they ended her storyline last year that we weren't really going to see her character again, but we are. She is now in an insane asylum. You know, she was before in jail, and now she's in an insane asylum. And we see a disturbance start up. You know, all these girls start to get really crazy and everything, and the guard comes in. And she reminds them that they are there to be good, and if they are good, Dr. Cotton is happy. And she ends what called what you know bath time. And the guard comes over to Jillian, who is still in the bath, and asks who she is. And Jillian replies, "A good girl." And Jillian asks her if she can get what she asked for. And the guard replies, "If I get what I asked for." So I was wondering, what does she want really? So then we see what I thought was a very interesting scene. This kind of made me feel like this should have been the season premiere because, again, as I said, this felt more like a season premiere than the first episode did. It just did, in my opinion. Nuggie's at a meeting with the board members at the Mayflower um, Grain Corporation, and he asks if he can speak to them. They ask Nucky why they should listen to him, and Nucky tells them he has exclusive rights to Bacardi rum, and, you know, that's sort of the thing that's going to make alcohol legal, and he suggests they go into partnership, and, you know, he pretty much thinks that, you know, that this is going to make alcohol legal again, but they don't want to listen to him, you know, they're thinking that he's not experienced, but if you think about it, Nucky's been one of the most successful bootleggers in the last 11 years, you know, that's the truth, he has been. So he tells the board members he's fairly certain that, uh, you know, that's, this is going to work, but they're not interested. However, one of the board's members then come up to him after the meeting, and they tell him that he's actually gotten the rights to distribute doers and champagne to the UK, and once the man leaves, someone else comes up to Nucky and gives him a message from Johnny. Now, Sal Maranzo wants to, uh, Marizano wants to meet Nucky. So then we see um, Van Alden, and he is with his son Chester, and Chester has come to ask him, why do clouds float? You know, simple question, and Van Alden's like, what is this? Some sort of a, you know, what is this? Some sort of a joke? And, you know, he gives him an answer, and then he shoes him away, and he's kind of getting tired of his wife, because his wife, you know, she's smoking, he tells her it's not ladylike, and he criticizes his wife's English. He wants his children to learn proper English, because she doesn't speak proper English, and I don't know, I thought that was kind of a funny scene. I don't know, I found that funny, because it's just like, he's arguing her with her over speaking proper English, I just thought that was kind of funny, in my opinion. So, Nucky is then meeting with Marizano because, you know, Marizano wanted to meet him, and he asks Marizano why he tried to kill him. Now, he claims he did not try to kill him, and Nucky, Nucky tells him he saw Lucky Luciano's partner and Meyer just, Meyer just before the attempt was made on his life. But Marizano claims he only met um, Mayor Lansky once, and Marizano also assures Nucky he does not have to be afraid of him, and Nucky replies, Who says I was afraid? So, Nucky leaves with Johnny Torrio, and he asks if he should believe Marizano, and Johnny tells him he has gotten, he has to get out of this mess somehow, so he says, you know, if you have to believe him, you have to believe him, basically. So, Nucky is pretty on to this guy. He pretty much thinks, alright, this is probably the guy that did it, and uh, he's pretty much on to him. So then we see Van Alden and Eli, they're together, and George asks how long it has been since Eli saw his wife, and Eli replies, six years. That was really interesting, in my opinion, that we found that out, that he hasn't seen his wife in six years. He's kind of been hiding out with Van Alden, sort of. I think that's kind of what's going on there, is that they're, they kind of are hiding out, because, again, Eli's wanted by the, uh, by the um, federal agents. So, George and Eli are robbing someone. The people they robbed it from tell them they are dead. It is Cap Al Capone's money, and Eli shoots them, and Nucky accepts that he has the lived with the choices he has made in good and bad, and he says he is this close to getting a liquor deal. He says the trick is to know when to cash out, and I thought that was a good scene, because Nucky's starting to realize he's not going to be able to get out of this bootlegger business. He's starting to realize that, even though he wants to get out of it, he's kind of realizing he can't, and he just has to live with it. He really does. He has to live with it, and he can't, you know, change anything. So Lucky Luciano is with Mayor Lansky, and Benny and Marizano's men walks in, and he is, you know, um, and he's playing the part of the rat, basically. And Luciano Meyer wants to know if Marizano is suspicious, and he wants to know if Marizano believes that Luciano and Meyer are on the outs. And Luciano thinks it is too soon after um, Marizire's death to move on Marizano. So... Will and then we see Willie and Nucky. Now we do see another scene of Willie. Now Nucky asks Willie who, what the man who interviewed him was like, and Nucky wants to know if Nucky's name came up. Willie lies and says no. Now that that's not the truth. His name did come up, 
and Nucky tells Willie he's proud of him, and his dad will be proud of him too, because, you know, Nucky is kind of playing the part of the father figure right now for Willie, because he doesn't have Eli, and the reason that Willie is not very fond of Nucky is because he really just wants to see his father again. He misses his father. He likes his father, you know. Nucky is doing the best he can to be his father, but he'll never be his father, because, you know, He's not his father. Van Alden, you know, Eli's his father, and he's just playing the part of his father right now. So I thought that was a good scene to watch because it's showing that Nucky is trying to do his best to be a father to Willie, but he's it's not exactly working. So meanwhile, George and Eli, um, you know, basically have come to see Al Capone and tell him there was an accident. And Al asked, um, you know, um, Van Alden what he brought for lunch, and Van Alden empties a bag of money on um, Al's desk and. You know, Al's really happy about this and everything, so, because, you know, he got his money, so he's really happy about that. And Elliot Ness is then holding a press conference, and he vows to fight the Capone mob. He's going to fight to win for the mother, fathers, and school children. So, that, that was really big right there, because, you know, what's basically going to happen is that um, he's going to fight against Capone. So, Nucky's having a meeting at a restaurant, and there's a rat who works for Marizano. You know, Marizano, again, the rat's there. And Nucky wants to know who it was who it was who spoiled his vacation, because he was on vacation, of course, and it was kind of spoiled for him. And the man tells him it was Lansky, and that Luciano and Lansky are biding their time and making Marizano feel like a king. Now, the man assures Nucky that Marizano has no issue with Nucky. You know, he's not, he has no issues with him. And Nucky wants to know if Marizano has an idea what Luciano and Lansky are up to. The rat claims Marizano has no idea. You know, he doesn't know what he's up to. And Nucky tells the rat to tell Nucky's men where Lansky is. And in the morning, the man should come and visit Nucky. That's what he needs to do. So, you know, that's basically what he needs to do there. So then we see Eli. He's listening to the radio, and he's sobbing because he misses his family. And it was really a sad scene to watch. He's watching this really happy scene on the TV and I really felt bad for Eli in this scene because here's the thing. He hasn't seen his family in six years. It was just so sad to watch. And the thing is, while we're not supposed to like Eli, this humanized Eli and made us care for him. I care about Eli now. I didn't care about him before. After this scene, I really do care about him. And I really hope he does get back to his family because he misses them like crazy. And he's just sobbing. It's really sad to watch, definitely. Um, so then we see Jillian. And surprisingly, the guard actually lets Jillian out. And Jillian asks if she is so sure that they should be doing this. And the guard tells, um, you know, Jillian, she's the boss. And the guard takes her jacket off. And, and she tells her that she has a lovely figure. And the guard continues to undress. Jillian takes a dress out of a trunk to, and lifts it up to the, to the guard. And the guard asks if it flatters her. And Jillian agrees it does with a few nips and tucks. And Jillian picks up a pen and a pad that the guard got for her. So... You know, she's basically out. That's all there is to it. She's out, and um, that's basically what ended up happening there, is that she's out of there. So I thought that was interesting, definitely, that she's basically out of there. So then we see Meyer, and a door opens, and a body's thrown in. Meyer goes over, and it turns the body around, and it's Marizano's man, the rat, who has been informing to everyone. He's dead, and there's a postcard stuck to his head, and it says, Greetings from ha Havana, and Nucky has sent Meyer a message that he knows. And, um... That was great. That was a great way to end the episode because now Nucky knows that Meyer is the one that killed Marizano. He knows that he's the one that did it, and I thought that was a great way to end the episode. Just awesome what happened there that, you know, that he was the one that killed Joe, and just a great way to end the episode. It really shows you don't mess with Nucky, and it was just such an awesome way to end the episode, in my opinion. Really love that. So yeah, that was basically the main plot. Let's get to the um, flashbacks. Um, basically, the flashbacks had to do with Nucky's sister, Susan, dying, and Nucky's watching his mother praying over Susan's body, and Nucky's father, Ethan, tells Nucky and Eli to say a prayer for their sister. Believe it or not, these flashbacks of his sister dying actually made the flashbacks more interesting, because I'm gonna be honest, while I really liked the flashbacks last week, they were a little bit dry. They were kind of missing something, and this week, they actually proved something interesting. You know, this showed his sister dying, and it was very sad, because you see that his father is very much like Nucky, very much like Nucky. You know, money's the reason that the Undertakers are not coming, and she's pretty upset because Susan's gonna be buried in not a very good place, Potter's Field. It's not really that good of a place to be buried in, and um, the Undertakers aren't coming there, and, you know, Nucky's mother's very worried that his father is, you know, is as his father's the reason why it's not happening, you know, why they're not coming, basically. 
So then Nucky is supposed to show up to his job, but he didn't. He didn't show up at his job, and the Commodore doesn't really care He at first. He's like, I don't really care. And Nucky tells him his sister died, and the Commodore tells Nucky, okay, I, and, you know, the Commodore understands at first. You know, he understands that his sister died. He says, it's fine that your sister died. Just find some solace in your work, and he sends him away. So he just wants him to sort of you know, get rid of all the anguish and the pain, do it in, in his work, you know, work with that, and I thought that was a good scene, definitely, I like that, um, he gave, that was good advice he gave to Nucky, I really enjoyed that, definitely, good scene overall, in my opinion, definitely, um, so, he sends him a way to do that, and then Nucky's boss, the Commodore, comes to pay his respects to Nucky's father, and the Commodore offers his father, Ethan, money to give Nucky's sister a proper burial. And he tells Nucky to take the day off, but Nucky says he wants to go to work. And Ethan runs the Commodore off with a shotgun, and after he leaves, Ethan pockets the money. So, we can definitely see that Ethan is just like, you cannot... Obviously, Nucky was pretty terrified of his father. He really wanted to work, and honestly, it seemed like with Nucky, the only time he was really truly happy is when he was with the Commodore. That's really what it seemed like is going on there. And I thought that was definitely very well done when we saw that. I really enjoyed that, definitely. Um, and then we see Nucky and his family are having the burial for his sister. And that's basically all there is to the flashbacks. And um, overall, I thought the flashbacks were really good. But I was really into this episode tonight. I thought it was fantastic. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Just a great episode. And again, really felt more like a season premiere than the first episode did. I was really into it. And uh, let's just talk about this episode for a second. First of all, I don't know what's going to end with Eli. I really hope Eli does get back to his family. He hasn't seen them in years. Um, but it, the thing is, if he does try to get back, the federal agents are going to go after him and he's going to get arrested. So he kind of can't get out of this, and it's really sad that he can't get out of this. But he's done it to himself. You know, he's done this pretty much to himself. It was interesting to see that Nucky's father kind of resembles, um, very much resembles, um, you know, Eli and Nucky in a lot of ways. That was cool to see definitely in the flashbacks. I really like that. Um, now... There is definitely going to be a huge fight between Al Capone and um, the people that want Al Capone dead. I can't remember what their name is, but the guy that wants Al Capone dead, I can't remember. What, what, are, what are their names? Um, damn it, I can't remember their names. Oh, well, Al Capone has his money now, and it seems like everything's okay, but, you know, Elliot Ness is now going after him, so there's going to be definitely a huge fight going on there, definitely. I feel like there's going to, a lot of shit's about to go down in this show. I definitely feel like that's going to happen. That's going to be interesting to see what happens there. I'm looking forward to that, definitely. That's going to be cool to see. Um... Uh, Willie, I really felt bad for Willie because, again, he really just wants to see his father again, and Nucky's doing the best he can to play the role of his father, but he's never going to be his father. That's just the fact of the matter, is that Nucky's never going to be his father, and Willie wants to see his father again, but Nucky's never really going to be his father. That's just how it works out. Um... And Jillian. I don't know where Jillian's going next. She's going to that Encino. You know, she got out of the Insane Asylum. It was cool to see Jillian again. I don't really know what's going to happen with her. A lot of people say she's a pointless character. I thought her story was interesting. She was my, you know, the thing I was least interested in this episode. But I still really did enjoy her um, plot. I thought it was good. Overall, though, everything was really interesting in this episode. I definitely enjoyed this episode more in the first episode. I was into it more. There was a lot more interesting stuff in this episode. I just thought overall it was just more entertaining than the first episode was. Again, my only complaint is that we did not see Chalky and we did not see Margaret. That's my only really big complaint in this episode. But overall, that's it my review of this episode. Let me know what you guys saw this episode. Um, what's going to happen between Nucky and... Um, Marizano, you know, obviously he knows that Marizano is the one that killed Joe. That's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Um, will that whole thing with Nucky and the business, with him trying to, I just thought about this, Nucky and the business with him trying to, you know, fund alcohol again, is that going to be successful? Because it seems like they're starting to be successful. He really wants it to work out, but it doesn't seem like anyone really is taking this seriously, as seriously as Nucky is. So, I'm interested in seeing if that is going to work out for him. I hope it does, because I really do want this to work out for Nucky. He really has tried hard for this, and I, I really would hate for this to not work out hard for him. You know, to not work out for him. But, um, Eli, again, I really hope he does see his, you know, um, kids again. Do you guys think he's going to be able to? I don't think he's going to be able to. He can't get out of this. He's done this to himself. Um... 
And Van Alden, I don't know what else there is to say about him. I thought that one scene with his wife was interesting to watch. He's kind of getting tired of his wife speaking, you know, um, speaking gibberish. I thought that was kind of funny to watch. Um, that's in my review. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in my next video, which will be my review for Witch the V Stem, which I can't wait to watch because apparently it's the most shocking episode of the season. I actually watched the ending, but that's it because I want to see how shocking it was. And uh, I'll talk about how shocking it was in the next video. So I will see you guys for that video. Okay, bye.